because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Coom Cassius, IFL TV here, proudly sponsored by Everlast with the Copper Box. Um, George Warren, yeah, uh, an unfortunate ending there for Joe Joyce. Had to be pulled out, obviously, by the doctor. The eye was closing. We saw it round by round, and it was unfortunate, but all credit to Zhang. Yeah, listen, he came, he, he came, he saw he conquered, didn't he? But he, he boxed really well. Um, I think Joe struggled a bit with the southpaw stance. He get, get, he get caught too many times, and... We all know that Joe takes shots that perhaps other heavyweights don't, but I think what he's always been able to get away with to a certain degree is his, is his chin, his stamina, and the fact that he just ends up getting on top of these guys. When that eye went, it was always going to be difficult because your peripheral vision's gone, you can't necessarily see what's coming at you. Um, I'd like to have seen him continue with that tactic that he had in the first round where he was moving to his right, just staying away from that left hand a bit more, but you know, fair play to Gillet. Joe will come again. No, it is what it is. That lead left is some weapon from Zhang. Absolutely. Listen, he's, you know, people people write people off just because necessarily they haven't heard of him. Hardcore boxing fans know who that guy is. Olympic silver medalist. For me, for my money, he beat Hergovic in that final eliminator out in Saudi Arabia. Um, you know, full credit to him. Maybe this is the just desserts. This is where you get a bit of luck. You get that eye injury and you get the win tonight where you lost in when you lost in Saudi that time. Obviously, that eye was checked at least twice, maybe three times from the doctor. And in the end, we could kind of see the way it was playing because it wasn't getting any better. Obviously, the, 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 the corner team were trying their best to kind of get that um, OK for Joe, but it, it weren't to happen, was it? No, it was the right decision. You know, they don't want to see... They're, they're, they're here to entertain us. They're not here to put their health at too much risk boxes. And, you know, what they do in those rings is, is incredible. We were sitting here in awe and we had a packed house tonight just enjoying what was a, a terrific fight up until then. I don't think there was a huge amount in the fight, but that eye was going to be a problem. It was going to become more and more of a problem in the later rounds. So, no, definitely the right decision. Can you tell us about any potential rematch situation there? Because I'm sure everyone would like to see that and give, obviously, Joe the opportunity, like, at full health to, to carry that on. Yeah, look, um, you know, we've got a relationship now moving forward with Chalet. He's under contract with Queensbury. Um, they're a great team to work with, his management team and his lawyer, Scott Schaefer. Um, that rematch clause, that right to invoke it is Joe's. It's not Queensbury's, it's his. If he wants to do it, we'll support it and we'll make it happen. He had that right as the WBO interim champion and mandatory challenger. He put up that position to make this fight, where most people probably sitting in that position wouldn't do it take on such a tough fight so if he wants to do the rematch not only is he deserving of it but we'll make sure that it happens but that decision Joe and we'll catch up with him in you know, next couple of weeks and see what he wants to do final one Dillian White was here obviously made some comments before the fight saying that that Joe Joyce fight interested him it probably still would be an interesting fight um, yeah any conversations with Dillian White tonight George Nothing, nothing substantial. You know, I heard that he was going to be in town. We invited him out. You know, obviously we, we know Dillian a bit better now since uh, the Wembley Stadium fight. Um, we got on talking terms. You know, couple, it's probably too close to fight week for my liking. We missed out on some press and stuff. But no, it was great to see him here. I think it was an enjoyable fight. He seemed to like it. So Dillian's always seemed to me to be someone that likes big fights. We've got some big heavyweights. It'd be great to see if there's anything that can be done. And very funny, I know you spoke to him about this the other day and kind of said there hadn't been any approach regarding these rumours regarding Fury and Usek, AJ and Wild, etc, etc. But I'm assuming in the last sort of two days there still hasn't been any contact regarding that situation and that rumour. Oh, it's been loads, there's been loads. No, no, I'm joking. No, honestly, there's nothing to update on. I think, um, as I said to him on that, that interview, and sometimes it's better just to, to keep quiet, not act on speculation as much as it gets you clickbaits and, and views, Coogan. Um, That's what you tell Eddie Hearn to do, isn't it? Keep his mouth shut? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, but uh, listen, I'll leave you to talk to him about that. But no, look, I think um, look, it all sounds exciting. Let's see, let's see where conversations go. They're good people to work with out there, but right now there's nothing substantial to update on. Um, we'll see what happens. George Warren, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and we'll catch up with you again soon. No problem, Jesse. I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. 
Right, the bouncer's guilt in. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 